In Minnesota recently started a first of its kind study about coyotes and foxes in the Twin Cities. Yeah, there's some research that suggests that coyote numbers are up in the metro area, but we don't know too much about exactly where they live. Christian Cordero joins us live now from the <laughs> U's St. Paul campus to explain a little more about this new project. Hey, Christian. Hey. Hey there, uh, Heather. Good morning to you. Yeah, so it's a three year long project funded in part by the state um, and researchers hope to learn a whole lot of things, including, as you just heard Heather say, where they live, what they eat uh, and whether they carry any diseases. And the researchers are asking for some participation on your end. If you happen to be so lucky and you see a coyote or a fox in your neighborhood, you can help everyone understand them a bit better by sending in a photo. The project already has more than 800 photos, fox and coyote sightings from Bloomington to Ham Lake to Hastings. Researchers at the U are factoring that information in with the data that they're collecting out in the field. Here's what that field research looks like. They find a spot where people have seen coyotes and foxes, yet is far away from people and pets. In this case, we were in Bloomington at a trap at the U that they had set up there. So we collect information by uh, capturing them, um, sedating them, and putting collars on them that relay satellite locations uh, to us, to our desk basically, so we can learn about their movement patterns, where they go places, when they go there, that sort of thing. The trap itself is similar to a prong collar that a lot of owners put on their dogs, not meant to hurt the coyotes or foxes, and it hasn't hurt any yet. They're putting those GPS trackers on 15 of each species, so just to try and get a better idea of it, um, as it really is something that applies to pretty much everybody in the Twin Cities. When you look at the overall map, the sightings are really everywhere. So coming up in the next half hour, we'll tell you a little bit more about uh, what they've learned so far and some of the advice that they have based on that. Heather, back All to right, Christian Cordero live in St. Paul. Thanks so much, Christian.